Jalen Ramsey does so well against wide receivers that are that size. Mm-hmm. You know, those bigger, longer guys yeah. he plays well because he matches up with them. Mm-hmm. And I think the one thing that I'm looking for in this game is how do the Rams continue momentum off that big win? Because this is a spot now with the Rams where I think this, you want to talk about a hot take. I think if they could beat the Cardinals this week, it might be just as impactful as them being beating the Bucks, And here's why. Because you had all that momentum and expectations going into that Bucks game. It's Brady. We're in Hollywood. Sold out stadium. The stars are out. This is the Super Bowl champ. You beat them. Now you're everyone's number one team on the power rankings. Are you going to not look past because it's in division, but is there going to be a flat spot? Is it going to be a letdown spot? I think this game is just as important for the Rams as it was last week. Right. Especially when you look at this team is undefeated. Mm-hmm. You want to try to keep momentum and hold on to that top seed now because, man, the way the L.A. Stadium has been looking for them and sounding, mm-hmm. it looks like L.A. football is a real thing over there, yeah. despite these teams not being there four years ago <laughs> for the most part. Yeah, I agree with you on that. And I just think also Arizona with their fire probably. The one thing you have to recognize with Arizona is they have a – we talked about AJ Green before, but the likes of Rondell Moore and uh, Christian Kirk, like they have, their weapons. They have a wide array of them, and then they got James Conner going. So I think there's just a lot of playmakers on both sides of the ball. It's just like you, when you look at it, it's like I trust the coaching staff and defense of the Rams a lot more than mm. say Arizona's defensive coach staff. So the, I think the Rams, you know, I would pick them without hesitation. But when it comes to importance of this, I think you definitely want to see them make another statement because. You know, Arizona, like if you if you leave them lurk, like you, we know Kyler as structure, he could create magic out of nothing. And if you, this game stays competitive, you give to Kyler that last possession, things could get bad. Yeah, what wide receiver core would you want of the bunch? Ooh, there's a lot of because I'm I'm gonna go Rams. Rams, yeah. I, I know it's I know. Look, Arizona obviously has the alpha dog or alpha man. I, I don't for, know, bro. I love Cooper Cup, but like, come on. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get Hopkins, 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 Hopkins. But I, I like, I think I like the Rams' skill set more. The the range between the the play, the deep threat with Jackson Woods being that scrappy possession here, Cooper Cup being just a savvy route runner, and he seems like he do it all now. But uh, even Van Jefferson's making plays too. So like, both these teams, they could go four wide. Yeah, which is I think that creates a lot of possibility. So yeah, that's a good man. question though, and I think it, you can make a debate for both. Yeah, and look, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep mentioning his name because I guarantee you he's gonna catch like a 65 yard touchdown. You love it, him, uh, Atwell. That oh, kid is, okay. I think you're gonna go Rondell Moore. Oh, more. I mean, we saw Moore yeah. have a monster yeah. game uh, two weeks ago it's against Vikings, Minnesota, yeah. but this dude uh, Atwell is again. It's basically if you like Deshaun Jackson, this kid is the same thing. Same body built, same speed, the whole nine. Mm-hmm. And the last thing that I want to say here is. As someone who is financially invested to the Rams, the one big concern that I had, and I still do, is their depth is not as good. And it seems to have been the issue the last couple of years, but they got a lot of depth at wide receiver. Mm -hmm. However, I do feel as if Cooper Cup might be him and Devontae Adams right now, in my opinion, are the most valuable wide receivers to their teams. And I'll I'll throw Tyreek in there, too. Yeah. And then I think there's a drop off. Because yeah. Buffalo's been getting by without that 160-yard game from Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Yeah, yeah. And maybe like Keenan Allen you could throw in the mix too because he gets like 10 to 12 targets a game right. too. Just look at what Mike Williams is playing. But Mike yeah. Williams has emerged as a guy who, yo, yeah. I'm trying to get paid a contract yeah. year for, for me as well. You look, so You look at the duels in Dallas and Tennessee and Seattle. But as far as like alphas, those guys are very, very important for their team success. But to wrap up on this game, I think I'm going to go with the Rams as well. I want this momentum to keep going, keep balling out. And look, they're fun to watch too, man. Because, yo, the Rams were not fun for a little bit. Well, before McVay. I think for most part since McVay's gotten there, they've been. But even if you think the last, like, two years. That's fair, yeah. After they. 2019, they made the playoffs. And last year was a bit of a grind. I think think people just love their defense because obviously they're the best defense last year. But those last two years of golf, you just realize, wow, this team is being really hindered by them yeah because when McVay got there he turned that whole franchise around Mm -hmm. and then that one year when they went to the Super Bowl it's like yo this dude went toe-to-toe with Mahomes that shootout game and they're putting up big numbers and all these guys Brandon Cooks also yeah so I'm going with the Rams